if grown up thinking no one can hear you scream in space. But NASA scientists now say that is not entirely true, publishing what they call a remixed sonification of a black hole. So this is the sound a black hole makes. All right, this is my first time hearing it. Joining us now, TikTok's premier space communications expert, Astro Alexandra. First off, Alexandra, thank you for being with us. How big of a deal is that? What was your reaction when you first heard that? Well, it's haunting. So my reaction was a little bit chilling, um, but it is so exciting. This is a really unique black hole that we're getting to hear because it's surrounded by gas. It's uh, the center of the Perseus Galaxy Cluster, which is a giant envelope of gas in space with hundreds or thousands of galaxies. So it's incredibly special that we're able to hear this. All right, so, so I feel like you, you, know, you kind of started to explain it there, you know, because NASA says space, most of space is a vacuum, right? So that means there's no way for sound waves to travel. But this galaxy cluster it has so much gas that they, they were able to pick up the sound. Explain how, how does that happen? Why does that happen? Yeah, absolutely. So you're spot on. Interstellar space and intergalactic space has very few particles for sound to travel through. But like I mentioned, this galaxy cluster is one of the most massive objects in space, in part due to all of the gas that surrounds it. So what's happening is that black hole is actually interacting with the gas and plasma around it. It's bubbling and sending out ripples. And what the scientists are doing are looking at those ripples and translating that into sound waves. So that sound isn't traveling from that black hole all the way to us. We're looking at it and translating that data into what we perceive as sound. All right, it almost sounds like monks chanting or something. It is really haunting. All right, quick answer from you, Alexandra. You know, these specific sound waves were actually discovered almost 20 years ago. Why did it take so long for this audio to be released? We are looking at a really, really big area of space. So it took a long time to gather all of that data. In 2003, we actually only had one note. So it's taken a long time to analyze that entire image. All right, well, that's a great explanation. I, I could honestly listen to this for a while, although I am getting a little spooked here. All right, Astro, Alexandra, thank you so much for explaining that for us. We appreciate it. Thank you. And that is all. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.